Here on this side we have the Spy Troops Snowcat that came out in 2003 as a Toys R Us exclusive. It has some major differences between it. The first one being that the bottom chassis of the 2010 Wolfhound is gray. We have a black chassis for the 2003 Spy Troops one. Different stickers. This time they went for, in my opinion, the more expensive clear see-through stickers that feel more like plastic on them. And the 2003 one actually has solid paper stickers. I'll actually go ahead and show you all the different stickers. I'm not sure if it had the Snowcat one. This is unfortunately an uncomplete Snowcat. So the stickers may have fallen off. But as you can see they're all paper. They are in some ways very different than the Snowcat. On the Snowcat for this one we actually have only one to unlatch, to unlatch. And in the back of the Wolfhound you can see that there's actually four stickers. One that says unlatch as well as one that says step on the both sides. And I hope you can see also the marbling in the Wolfhound. And no real marbling in the back of the Snowcat. But if you bring it to some of the sides you can see that there is possibly some paint. It is always interesting to see how they do the differences between different vehicles so that way it's updated and it has a new look but I also wonder sometimes if they do that for the collector out there so that way you can tell the difference between the different vehicle parts that you have because even the canopy this one is a lot more clear it's a little scratched up of course <laughs> but it's a lot more clear you can actually see quite a bit of it so it seems a lot lighter of a black color and if you bring in this one see how you can't see much into it so again there's another updated look more of the marbling or paint that they have even the back searchlight right there as I'm gonna call it is more see-through than the black on this one now this one did not come with these skis, torpedoes, right there. It actually came with only these blue ones right here. And I actually am missing two of them, but you would have got at least four of them. And you may think that even though it has the same peg and hole system slots to it, that you would be able to attach the missiles on the side here. But there's actually a bar right there that prevents them from going down which I think again is a plus though for this one because that keeps the missiles at the height that they want them at there's no way for them to slide down now the thing that did attach here though would have been the gun or missile launcher that would have fired these missiles unfortunately I don't have that because if you've seen some of my older videos I did start doing these videos for other reasons but it also was an opportunity to try and do better with my collection so that piece unfortunately is nowhere to be found right now but which also allows you to see that there used to be a difference with the missile launchers is the main missile launcher that fired it would have gone here and it but it would have gone back a hose would have gone back to here where the main missile launcher. I want to say maybe it had a sound box on it. So definitely some annotations that will go up or if you guys want to leave those comments those would be very welcomed as well. I know Cobra Chris 31 had lots of fun finding out something for um, Dave one of three nights videos so that's really cool and that's one of the reasons I do these videos and they're so exciting is to see the changes in product but also see how much there is to learn out there about the real world as well as the toys that we collect. So it does unlatch the same way because this again is a reuse remold of the Tiger Cat that used to be the 1985 Snow Cat. So there's that same area. Now we'll take a little closer look at the differences between missile launchers as well. 
So this actually has been updated. We've never had a missile launcher like this before. Looks a lot more realistic to me. So looking at the missile launcher for the 2003 Spy Troops exclusive from Toys R Us, you may think that the missile launcher looks the same, but it's actually been updated as well. It has more of a peg system to it, and the 1985 one would have been more like the missiles that they used on the Mobile Command Center of 1987. And instead of pegging, the missiles would have had more of a way for you to slide them in, and they would be held by a slot in here, and then the peg of the missile, I believe, would slide into that. So this is actually the third time that we've gotten a change in the missile launcher because in 1985 it would have been more of a sliding here it's more of a peg and then you would have pulled it out put it into the missile launcher on the side and it would have fired it but let's go ahead and look at the updated Wolfhound missile launcher that it's a complete enclosed box and the reason for that is because you don't get to fire these but you get to fire all four of those missiles and it has a sliding mechanism on it right here so let's try and fire those and not lose any of them let's go ahead and fire one first and then let's fire all three of them now you will have to slide this all the way back in order to refill them because if you fire one and then you want to put it back in, you actually can't do it until you fire all of them and then bring them back. But yes, definitely nice. This is one reason I am okay with picking this one up. Even though you may have the 1985 Snowcat, you might have the exclusive from 2003 from the Spy Troops line. But this is like most realistic of all three of them in my opinion so definitely definitely a very nice vehicle now the only thing with this is this would ha you would have to use your own imagination to go through the snow and hills and everything because these don't get fired in any way these seem a little thicker on the sides than the ones from the 2003 exclusive you can see that there's really more of a box feel to this and here they are a little bit more sturdy and a little more rounded there they do both have this removable engine cover so this one's all clean and everything because this is a newer vehicle and definitely trying to take better care of my collection now that I have more of a reason to do so and here is the one from the 2003 exclusive. I did clean them up as best as I could. And then let's take a look at the missile launchers. I also wanted to point out the differences in treads. You can see that these hubcaps on the Wolfhound have been painted white and the ones on the exclusive are all black. Here's the hubcap on the front wheel of the 2010 Wolfhound and the hubcap on the 2003 Snowcat. So hopefully I've shown you quite a few looks at the different vehicle and their similarities and the differences between the two so you can decide you know if you really need the 2010 updated look of what once was called the snowcat or if you're okay with your 2003 or maybe even your 1985 another thing I did want to show off too is the peg system because we were talking about that earlier so you can see they were a lot more fat on the pegs there and there compared to 
the updated ones. So now that we've shown you all the different details and updates to the vehicles, let's go ahead and look at Whiteout one more time.